Can you give us a brief description of uh, the chamber, its histories, its goals, and um, its most uh, recent achievements or its major ch achievements throughout its history? Yeah. Well, I don't know so many about like the specific achievements, but in terms of what I've experienced with the Croatian Chamber of Commerce, and we've also been, me and you have been talking about like, you know, sharing some ideas with the Australian uh, Croatian Chamber of Commerce, you know, like maybe taking some ideas of, from Canada. But really, um, if it if it really wasn't for the Croatian Canadian Chamber of Commerce and all these different institutions that we established here in like sorry over there in Canada I like I wouldn't be like the person that I am you know like there the preservation of culture and always this influence of like getting like musical acts to come to to Canada like uh, like like shout out to like once again Jeannie Balati she's like one of one of the most amazing people that you will ever meet like she's always constantly trying to get Croatian musical acts to come to, to Canada you know what I mean like Adastra or like Prljavo uh, Kazalište or Thompson or something well Thompson usually goes like he separates he does like his own thing I don't know if they do anything but that's not important but like like we always have like the Croatian Canadian community is really like they want to be connected to Croatia they really want to have that influence they really want to like like connect like young youth Croatian Canadians to Croatia like we don't want it to be two three four generations down the road and Croatian Canadians you know we we don't have our culture or we're just saying you know we have we like to eat burek or something like that we want to like preserve our culture we want to preserve the language and you know and the Croatian Canadians have done an amazing job in doing that and one of the institutions is the Croatian Canadian Chamber of Commerce and really they they one of their main achievements i think is like the the free trade agreement between Canada and Croatia and also ju just to give you an idea of how like how amazing this network is like all the Croatian Canadians that have moved back to Croatia there's actually two sister networks so it's the Croatian Canadian Chamber of Commerce and they have a sister network in in Zagreb it's called the CCC, CCBN which is the Croatian Canadian Business Network and um, basically they, they they interact with one another and also like if you're a member of one you could be a member of the other and if you move back to Croatia like I did I'm automatically a member of the Croatian Canadian Business Network and like I get to interact with Croatian Canadians that move back but really like and they really some of the biggest accomplishments that they they have is you know for example getting a direct line the first uh, direct line from Canada well from North America actually to Zagreb since the breakup of like Yugoslavia like after after Croatia declared independence, a lot of like companies didn't want to fly to Zagreb anymore. Like for example, like Air Canada, Air Canada didn't like they they totally pulled out of like flying to Zagreb after that. But then, what happened was is that about three four years ago, now there's direct lines with Air Transat, and now beginning this year, there's going to be direct flights from Toronto to Zagreb with Air Canada again. You know, like that whole like influence and that whole partnership between like Air Transat, the Croatian Canadian Chamber of Commerce and Croatia, you know, like having people in both countries that are Croatian Canadian really like influences things there. But really the people that are in the chamber are like like it, it really it, it's it's inspirational. Like like for example, Ivan Grbišić who is the president, he's also the president of the uh Basically, Croatia made like a new part of basically after uh, I, I believe Kalinda like she made like this new part of the government where it's for the Croatian diaspora. So there's like representatives of the Croatian diaspora. For example, the president is Ivan Grbišić, but then the vice president is like I think Luka Budak. He's like from he's from uh, he's from Australia. He's you know? he's based here in Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So like basically, it's like a chamber. Uh, where people talk about the issues like facing the diaspora, but also the problems facing Croatia. You know what I mean? And Ivan Grubish is just, just like one of those amazing people. And like literally every single time that you talk about like possible ideas with Croatia, you know, he, he 
he doesn't think of it as a job. He thinks of it as like, you know, this is Croatia, you know, like I enjoy talking about it. Like every single, like I said, like basically when I was talking to him one time, when I went back to Canada, he was um, on a conference call with us. And really like, he's just an amazing person. Like he's really busy because he works for one of the biggest like law firms in, in Canada. And he does a lot of like uh, international transactions between like, uh, like mining companies in South America. So he's just one of those amazing people. I was like, yeah, I can see that you're really busy and stuff like that. And he goes like, yeah, yeah, you know what? Like, th like when we talk about Croatia, this is not business. This is like, this is my love. Like, I love doing this. And that's the type of people that are in that business, like in that in that chamber of commerce. Also, you have um, other great people in there. Like, for example, um, Victor Dodik, which is like, like he's the CEO of CIBC Bank. So CIBC Bank is one of the biggest banks in Canada. And he's the CEO, he went to Harvard, you know what I mean? There's such intelligent people, such great people. Uh, and also other people that are just just amazingly passionate, like even Juanita, like talking to Juanita is like, I don't know, I could talk to Juanita for hours. She's the manager of the, the Croatian Canadian Chamber of Commerce and she's always like giving possible ideas and like, you know, like maybe we could do this, maybe we can co cooperate like that. And and they've been really receptive to like a lot of the ideas that I've been sharing with my school, like how we want to like open up like student exchanges from Canada to come to Croatia, how we can like, you know, influence like people to invest specifically in startups in Croatia and how we can influence like the youth of Croatia, you know, to like, to invoke change. And, and really, and you, you even have like other people that are like, they, they, they speak fluent like English and Croatian and they do translations, you know, like really it's, it's a fantastic resource. Like if you're a Croatian Canadian, like, and, and you're not a member of the Croatian Canadian Chamber of Commerce like that, it, it, they're just a fantastic resource. They have scholarships for students, you know, they, they really, they have like all these galas. They always like have a special guest, like even like a year ago, they had like Matej Rimac come. They had Kulina Garaba Kitarovic come. I believe that the, the, what's it called? The president, of the, uh, the president Nick Sabora was there like about a few months ago. So like November of last year, Kulina came, but then like the, no, the speaker of the house, sorry, of, of the Croatian, the, the Croatian assembly, he came to, to uh, what's it called? He also came to, uh, to the gala. Well, not to the gala, but like he, like he met with like Croatian Canadians, and like there's always some sort of event that they're always planning, and they also have like a golfing tournament where you know like they're actually like fundraising. It they're they're just a really amazing organization, and like um, basically, and also just Croatian Canadians in general are just some of the most passionate some of the most driven people that you'll just ever meet, like in Canada, in the world. Like even for, I believe like one of the biggest cities in Canada and actually the biggest tech hub city in Canada at the moment, it's like, we call it the Silicon Valley of the North. Uh, the the mayor of that town is Croatian, Beri Verbanovic, you know, like there's, and he's part of the chamber as well, you know, there's so many high, like, like into like intellectuals, um, like business people that are part of this chamber, and they they really contribute a lot to Croatia and contribute a lot to Canadian society as a whole. And like that's like a perfect example of like the Croatian spirit and the Croatian resilience is is and like the institutions in Canada and the people that are there in Canada and what what we're doing like with one another. You know what I mean? And it. It's really an example for for the world. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just have my bias. Like, but I, I just love the Croatian Canadians. They they really like they basically they they they're they're like the role model for like like uh, for the diaspora. Also, the American like the American Croatians. They have things, but I, I'm not. I don't know too much about like the American like Croatians. I just know like in terms of like their communities, and I've been to their communities, but. And to the Croatian Canadian Chamber of Commerce, they're they're really active. They they're always finding ways to expand. They're always trying to find ways to, you know what I mean, open up business between Canada and Croatia.